rabbit hole we go Where niggas will big you up for a feature When they all know they ain't fuck with you When you was a nobody before you blown The cold shoulders they shown Our hugs now that you know Down the rabbit hole we go Where hoes you know will call you out the blue Asking how are you and telling you that you want to come over When you are open Though when last time they saw you Not a single word was spoken But down the rabbit hole we go where everyone got an opinion and you sit there and listen They looking in your eyes but they do not see your vision They say they got your interest but who are you fucking kidding Down the rabbit hole we go When they start to know who X is I get emails from my exes and my mom is feeling jaded Cause I can't reply to Texas Don't know if I'm home or doing a show in Texas Down the rabbit hole we go where failure is not an option cause everybody is watching I don't wanna be the topic of barbershop niggas talking The vultures doing circles cause the square got them walking now Down the rabbit hole we go, we go, we go Yeah, down the rabbit hole we go, we go <coughs> So I don't know if it's gonna do that weird thing where it doesn't record So I'm gonna talk and hope that it records um, every time I get in front of this thing, like my words freeze up, and when I'm at the gym or just walking, they my thoughts attack me, just all of a sudden, and I just wish I could control it, maybe, but, um, I think... Like, I'm here, I'm recording this because of everything that's just hitting me. Of course this is ridiculous. Of course it would be ridiculous. Okay, let's start with what I've learned about myself. Let's put some order and form on this, right? Um, one, I don't know how to react to things. Aside from anger and laughter, I don't know any other emotion intrinsically, or, you know, everything else is absolute, absolute performance. Anger and humor are performance for me, but you know what I mean. Um, so, everything is fucking delayed. And at some point I'm going to ask myself why I can only feel those two emotions. God, I'm so confused. Like, I can't, I can't. I have the words. I have the words. And I have the ideas. And I have... They're here. And they're haunting me. And I can't... I can't find the words. I can't find the order. I can't find the logic. All I have is just a bunch of fucking details. A bunch of fucking details. And I can, can weave them into a narrative, a coherent one in my head, or a series of coherent narratives. You know, I can come up with, I can posit explanations, but when it actually comes down to sitting here, sitting here and recording something substantive, I can't do it, and I can't write it, and I can't, because I'm fucking plagued by, I guess, see, and as soon as I try to get into this issue of form and intelligibility and how what I say is how I say it, you know? I know that what I say is how I say it. And I don't think I have the power, the lexicon, the vocabulary to say things the way they need to be said in order to be understood. And is that is that something tough to admit? that we only understand by these frames of intelligibility, that what's going on in my mind right now makes sense to me because I'm, I'm an encyclopedia 
of myself, you know, I'm, I'm a set of references, you know, so of course what's going on in here is perfectly logical, of course. I think it should be shared. Of course I think I have something really fucking valuable to say to the fucking world. We all fucking do, right? We all fucking do, that's why Twitter, Facebook, all this shit, social networking is fucking blowing up the way that it is. Because we could take fragments, because that's how we exist, right? Even in our heads, we could take fragments, posit it as the whole. And we don't think have to think about issues of form, issues of narration, We can throw those to the wind, but at the end of the day, that's the only way to fucking communicate. All of our communication is structured and therefore reductive. So, like, part of what's plaguing me right now, you know, is that, A, it's like, A, recognizing that I live in this state of dissonance, that... How I feel is never fucking tied to my external reality. It's never fucking tied to my external reality. I, I live everything into the... So, like, to be less fucking abstract, the thing with Haiti happens. I get a text message from my friend Angie um, telling me that there was an earthquake... Um, and I immediately think, you know what? My dad's going to be fine. My dad's going to be fine because my dad lives in Haiti. I just had a sense that he was going to be fine. And he was. And then I was fine. I was absolutely fine. Well, not really. Not really. I was fine. Meaning I'd come to Providence early to finish this paper, which I still haven't finished, Jean Ferex, <laughs> Race and Place in the fucking Renaissance. I, can't, oh, what the, what the fuck, I should finish that. But anyways, I'd come back to Providence early to finish this paper, and I hear about this quake, and I don't react. I didn't react for days. I didn't fucking... You know what I fucking thought? Another fucking tragedy in Haiti. That's great. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's great. What the fuck do you want me to say to that? What the fuck do you... Do you want... I know what you want me to do. You want me to fucking historicize it for you? Tell you about colonialism or something? Give you these fucking reductive narratives that you've already fucking internalized, so that's the only thing that you're going to hear from me. But what, you want my fucking reaction so that you can tie these fucking narratives to, to a reality? Not even a reality. To your projection of reality? That's what you want me to fucking do? I, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't fucking want to. Because who the fuck cares about those 230,000 fucking dead people? You don't. I didn't. I wonder if I do now. I wonder if I do now. You know why I started to care about them? You know how I got myself to care about them? I went onto fucking time and I started looking at disgusting fucking pictures of people's faces being fucking demolished. That's how I fucking started to care about Haiti. That's the only way I knew how to care about Haiti. So I do that. I synthesize my own fucking breakdown because I felt it was fucking necessary. I'm sitting there in the shower just waiting for it, just waiting for it, just waiting for it, just waiting for it, and it happens. And I feel. And that was the last time I cried about Haiti. And six months later, all I can do is cry. <laughs>